Now in this section we will learn what is the role of different parts of our body as a batsman. Now you must have uh, listened from different coaches watching the ball. As I said in my last section that watching the ball is always always first priority because if you are watching the ball then only you can react maybe on the wrong way or maybe on the right way. But at least you will react somehow. For example, as I said that if you are riding a riding a you know car, if you are you you are watching uh, the front front uh, front line, if even somebody is coming from left to right, you will be able to manage. If you are not watching, then you then the, you will want to be accident. So that's what even in batting, if you are watching the ball, even the ball is very tough, you will be able to manage from your subconscious brain to react and maybe you will save yourself. But if you do not watch the ball, then it will always be dangerous. Now, I am going to tell you what is called practice and what are the different roles of our body. So, first of all, the first role is of your, uh, the first role starts from your eyes. Your eyes is watching the ball when you are standing on the stand. Your eyes, both eyes are watching the ball. Once the eyes are reading the ball, they, they send your, uh, uh, your, the, the, their anticipation, anticipation to the brain and then brain we have different nerves in our body it starts giving the signals to our body part so how what part needs to be engaged to react the ball so now the first role is your eyes the second role is your brain and then your body part now we will be uh, understanding what are the uh, major body parts which are involved in the batting so the it starts with the head head is the heaviest part of your body which control your body for example now i'm standing now my head is in the center and if I am putting pushing my head toward the right side, you can see easily my body is going toward that direction. Now if I am standing here and I am pushing my head just outer part of body toward the left side, my body is falling toward the left side. So head is always maintaining the balance. If your head is good, your, your balance is always good. So first your eyes, second your head, then while, while batting, the another part which is involved your both shoulders and hand so the role of the shoulders are like if i'm standing uh, over the stance you can see my my head is in center so my body is aligned and balanced now what is the role the next the next role is my my hands so when i'm reacting the ball so before the reaction or into the reaction my hands are getting involved so i'm lifting my back with my hand and shoulder so this is the second part which is involved in the batting now the third part which is a more major part is my legs so in batting the role of the hand is to control the bat and give the direction to the ball head the role of the head is to keep the balance and also transferring the body weight now the role of your legs are to make a good position so legs leg is for the positioning hands are for the guiding the ball and head is to control the ball so you have, you must have seen lot of cricketer those are just just tying the ball normally we train to hear that this batsman is very good time he has a great timing it is what is called timing timing is basically meeting the ball close to your body and also the meeting of the bat and ball just under your eyes if you can meet the bat under your eyes then it you can say you have a good you have timed the ball well because that time you are about to transfer your body weight over the ball for example for example you can see now spacing a ball i am getting ready my eyes are open i am watching the ball now my legs are going towards the ball let's take a ball Now I am getting ready, my hands are involved, my head is still, now with my legs I am making the position, you can see I am in the same position, what I am here, I am there, you can see I am not doing anything extra, now you can see I am holding my body weight and from here my head is, head is just behind, behind the ball and from here if I am transferring my body weight, I am just I'm shifting my head, my body weight is going over the ball. So if I am able to use my body weight, I don't need to use my hands power. So the role of the different part of the body are 
eyes looking at the ball head controller legs making the position and hand it give you the direction and if everything is falling on the time and we are connecting the ball we are getting the good timing so we don't need to use power lot of people they get out because they don't use their body weight they don't use their head well and that's what they just try to hit the ball hard and they don't get enough enough power behind the ball so so i think these things are very very important to understand and i will explain some more thing like what what is the transferring of the body weight so when you are going towards the ball first you need to remember when you are going towards the ball you need to land over the heels always and then you need to while while playing the ball you need to shift your body weight from heel to toes in, in that way you can easily transfer your body weight and as i said the role of the head it should always over the line always over the line of the ball you should not hit the ball from behind you should always hit the ball over the line thank you